Hello everyone and welcome to the Cisco Collaboration Group. My name is Amit Singh and thank you everyone for joining this group. Today we are gonna discuss on the topic of how do we create a CSS or how do we add the CSS in the Cisco Unified Communications Manager database using the Postman and SOAP UI via the SOAP API requests. So quickly let's get Start it. So, starting at the same note where we ended last time, let's just see how we could build up a CSS uh, from the partition that we have already created. So, let's just log into Cisco Unified Communications Manager and see the partition first that we created using a SOAP UI and Postman application or tool. Um, sorry, the wrong password. Okay, and then let's see the partition that we have created. We'll copy the partition name, you know. So we'll use provisioning partition to create a provisioning CSS and then we'll use provisioning postman partition to create a provisioning postman CSS using two different applications. Okay, so let's just open the SOAP UI application. Here is the SOAP UI application file and let's create a new SOAP project and just name it whatever it you want. I will say pro one and then just load the initial WSTL file just click on schema and just use the current it's the latest WSTL file that you will get and then just make sure that you have checked the create sample requests click OK then it will load the definition and then it will also automatically find the XST file location from therein okay let's just now create add CSS so we'll have to search for add CSS so here it is so before doing that let's just define the Excel API binding so the way the request would be sent with this UCM username, password, and the correct URL. So it's just interpreting the definitions and in the service endpoints in this here, you will have to define the Cisco Unified Communications Manager IP, which is 10.10.20.1. So that's my publisher. You'll have to define the UCM publisher IP address. And then you have to define the username and password. I'm using API user as the username just double click on password and enter the password so this is my password so that's it hit enter and once this is done just close this window and click on add css here and then you can just double click on request one and this is how our css soap request looks like you know so we'll just remove the optional comment from the description part and then we will say here um, yeah the description is um, soap UI CSS and we remove uh, so we don't need 
as of now the members uh, or let's just put in the members as well so we'll add the partition inside the CSS and it says it could be zero or more repetition so no CS no partitions or one or more partitions inside this so the members is nothing but the partitions they are the members of the CSS so the route partition name and then you can put in the name here so we'll just copy the route partition name from here whatever name we have provided so provisioning minus pt okay and then now uh, index we will say it's the first partition at the priority inside this uh, css list okay and then partition usage we can just remove it because it says it's optional so we don't need to define and then we'll have to define the name of the CSS now you see here that there is a difference how you define the CSS and how you define a partition you know that's why it's very important the that's why I was saying last time as well you know the order of the tags is very important in this case the name tag is at the bottom and the description is at the top while in partition the name tag is at the top and the description is at the bottom you know so make sure you see that part as well so we'll just put the name as um, soap ui css and then leave everything as it is let's just see what happens when we now push this request okay perfect now you we see that there is something in a return that means there is an object id id in return that means a css has been created on cisco unified communications manager and let's see what css do we see here let's just see oh, and the SOAP UI CSS is created and let's see if the partition is assigned and voila the provisioning partition is also assigned to this CSS you know it's that simple so yeah you have to copy and paste the partitions maybe it's just for uh, I am showing you currently but you could also automate these things when you have a front end you know so that's really simple task to create these things inside a Cisco Unified Communications Manager, but it does need a real backend uh, work to be done at start. You know, it's not that easy that you see currently. It's just you have a client, and that's why you could send and receive a response and requests, send requests and receive response. But uh, yeah, it's not that uh, easy in the real world when you have to develop a solution from the front end but yeah uh, for s small tasks you could do it and then maybe learn some developments and then uh, you could uh, develop a solution for your self to make your make your life easier okay now let's just see how we can create the same css using postman application so we just open the postman so this is our requests from the last time that we used you know to add uh, a partition so we will just copy the same request for the css from here and then just paste it inside the postman application and then you will say the description is postman css and then the partition name would be uh, 
we'll just copy the partition name from here that we used for uh, postman last time or that we created using the postman last time so this is the partition name that you have so just paste the partition name here and then just say uh, what would be the name of the CSS I will say postman CSS you know the rest of the re things remain same for example authorization if you haven't seen my uh, how to add partition video you can just go into my playlists and see those videos and watch how we started you know and even before that you can have a look at how you know uh, what is the theoretical part behind this what are the different uh, acronyms that we have been using and then this is the authorization header and in the authorization header you'll have to put in the username and password that we created last time api user and password and then we used two headers and we said soap action and then here now we have to say instead of add route partition we have to say add css you know and inside the body we have the soap message encoded in an xml format and with the right order and we just click on send and we see a 200 okay message here as you see here it's a 200 okay you know so that means we have 200 okay means the request was successfully performed so the information has been written on the cisco unified communications manager publisher database with the post request and then we have an object id in return so let's see do we have a css created on cisco unified communications manager and voila we have postman css that have been created with the partition provisioning postman pt inside it so that was it i think uh, now you guys know a little bit more about how you could make use of postman or soap ui client to create some more requests and responses just create some requests and responses let me know how it is uh, play around with it, them you know and in case you need any more information about some requests or some technical information just comment and then uh, i'll get back to you and uh, keep sharing keep liking guys uh, this content if you think it's useful for you guys and uh, in the next video i will show you how do you create a, a directory number a phone and how do you assign this directory number and phone with the partition and the css until then thank you very much and have a nice day Bye bye